Thank you very much. Now, these days, there is an insurance package for almost anything, but to the top of the list has got to be home insurance. But what are the consequences of serious property damage? Well, our property expert, Fiona McLaughlin, went to investigate when she met landlord Pat Garvey, whose tenants have had to be relocated because of a hole in the kitchen ceiling. Let's, how, let's see how she got on. It's more than likely the most expensive thing you'll ever buy in your life. Yet many of us pay very little heed to our home insurance, not realising in many cases we're either overinsured or worse still, underinsured. So today we're going to look at what happens when something does go wrong in your home. call from the tenant in the house to say that she had a leak in the ceiling and we, when we actually came out to look at the damage it was coming from the immersion in the hot press the immersion was actually leaking itself tell us a little bit about the damage when I first walked through the door I could see the damage in the landing at the top of the stairs where the floor was very weak and then downstairs in the kitchen over the so the floor just felt the spongy floor just on the felt foot. spongy on the foot okay. yeah 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 and then the ceiling actually fell through then right. the section of it fell through afterwards, afterwards yeah had you enough insurance cover? What, what was the, the issue with insurance? Lucky enough, I have the landlord's contents insured and the building. Landlord's yeah. contents it's insured? It's up to the tenant to insure their own contents. Okay, and had they their contents they insured? They hadn't, no, no. Oh, so it's a good tip for anybody watching tip. this. Yes. Well, I always tell the tenants to insure, insure their contents. Only 5,000 contents insured, yeah. they can do that. Well, I wouldn't be allowed to insure their contents because it's not mine. Yeah. Well, I can only yeah. insure the landlord's contents in the building. Having gone through this experience, is there anything that you would advise people to do um, you know, in anticipation of, of something like this happening? Well, I'd advise everyone to make sure that they are covered properly with insurance, okay. to make sure that they have the contents insured and the building insured to the right value. You have to have it insured for the proper value. You couldn't have your building underinsured. You have to get it insured per square footage. Okay. So much per square footage, and it's the rebuild cost that you have to get insured. That's right. And Hi Joe, thanks Hi, very much for, for meeting us today and, and you're going to talk us through what you do generally uh, in a situation like this when carrying out um, an insurance assessment. Yeah, we're a one stop shop when it comes to dealing with claims and especially the likes of this here would be a, a fairly typical type of claim there. We can come in here now, we'll, we'll carry out our assessment, we'll confirm that it is an insurable claim okay. and we can also carry out all of the repairs. Look, I come from a construction background okay. myself so I have fairly in depth knowledge of the second generation which construction helps. which helps and I actually got a leak in my house there a couple of years ago and I didn't know where to turn even I knew how to fix the repairs but I didn't know what to do in terms of the insurance I contacted somebody from the Golden Page or wherever else and they says no don't fix anything here because we need to get the loss adjuster from the insurance company to take a look at this okay. so I had to look at a hole in my roof for a couple of weeks I went off there and I found out that there was no one stop shop for this particular type of event for anybody there and what they should do. And so you spotted a gap So in the we spotted a gap in the market there and we love that. the rest, as they say, is history there. So here today, can you just tell me a little bit about what you would have done going through the, the property in terms of assessing the, the damage? Well, first things first, obviously we come in, we can see that there's a hole in the ceiling here, yeah. which has happened from an escape of water of some description. The first thing we do after we've seen the damage is we go up and see what's causing the damage. Okay. I know in this case that it was noticed that it was an escape of water coming from the, the cylinder in the hot press. There's, there's nothing really that you can do for this particular type of claim because you can get leaks from different pipes at all different times. Get, get it done, get it done once and get it done right because otherwise you can be leaving yourself exposed to no end of problems there okay. from start to finish. Well, we'll be discussing your insurance rights in more depth after the break.